Hey everyone, it's Astrid here. I want to share a bit about my journey as a single mom raising my son, Henrik. Life hasn't been easy, but I've learned a lot along the way. You see, being a single mom is tough, especially when you don't have a lot of support. I used to think I had a supportive family, but it turned out I was mistaken. The realization hit me hard, but I managed to overcome it. Let me tell you about my ex-husband, Ragnar. He's not exactly the kind of person you'd want to have in your life. He was abusive, both physically and emotionally. It's hard to even think about him without feeling disgusted. When I first met Ragnar, I thought he was great. We were in love, or so I thought. But things changed after we got married. He became controlling and abusive, making my life a nightmare. I stayed in that marriage for over 10 years, mostly because I felt trapped. Ragnar had manipulated me into staying with him, and I thought Henrik deserved to have a father in his life. But things took a turn for the worse when Ragnar started hitting me in front of Henrik. That was the last straw. I knew I had to get out of there for the sake of my son. I called the authorities, and thankfully, Ragnar was kept away from us. But he didn't give up that easily. He kept threatening me, saying he would get us back under his control. The divorce was a long and difficult process, but I finally got away from him. I moved closer to my parents and sister for safety and got restraining orders against Ragnar. It was a terrifying time, not knowing if he would find us. Despite everything, my parents weren't as supportive as I had hoped. They questioned my decision to divorce Ragnar, suggesting we could have worked things out. They didn't seem to understand the severity of the situation. It was tough trying to explain to them why I couldn't let Ragnar near Henrik. They kept pushing for Henrik to see his dad, but I couldn't risk it. I had to protect my son, no matter what. In the end, I had to stand my ground and do what I felt was best for Henrik and me. It wasn't easy, but I knew I couldn't let Ragnar back into our lives. And despite the challenges, I'm proud of how far we've come. IT sounds like Henrik has been through a lot, and it's understandable that he wants nothing to do with his dad. Seeing violence can leave lasting scars, and it's crucial to prioritize Henrik's safety and well-being. Your parents' initial reluctance to accept your decision regarding Ragnar is unfortunately not uncommon. Sometimes, people struggle to see the severity of abusive situations, especially if they haven't experienced them firsthand. But it's heartening to hear that they eventually came around and focused on building a positive relationship with Henrik. It's also impressive how you managed to create a stable and thriving life for yourself and Henrik after leaving Ragnar. Finding a good job and providing financial support to your parents shows your strength and resilience. Trusting your parents to care for Henrik while you were away on a business trip seemed like a logical choice at the time. After all, they had shown love and support for Henrik in the past. But Ingrid's call raised some red flags, and it's understandable that you felt anxious. It's tough when our trust in loved ones is shaken. Hopefully, Ingrid's warning turns out to be a false alarm, but it's crucial to stay vigilant and prioritize Henrik's safety above all else. Trusting our instincts, especially when it comes to our children's well-being, is essential. It's understandable that Ingrid's warning left you feeling anxious. Family dynamics can be complicated, especially when it comes to situations as sensitive as yours. It's good that you reached out to your parents to check in on Henrik. However, Henrik's vague response and the abrupt interruption by your mom definitely raised some concerns. It's natural to want to ensure your son's safety, especially given the history with Ragnar. Turning to security camera footage was a smart move on your part, and it revealed something alarming. Ragnar's presence at your house. This discovery understandably triggered a mix of emotions, from anger to fear. Your reaction when confronting your parents was completely justified. Their attempt to downplay the situation and shift the blame onto you is deeply troubling. It's clear they don't understand the gravity of the situation or the danger Ragnar poses. Their disregard for the restraining order and your wishes as a parent is unacceptable. Setting boundaries and standing firm in protecting Henrik is crucial. 
It's unfortunate that your parents aren't respecting your decisions and the safety measures you've put in place. Their actions are not only disrespectful, but also potentially harmful to Henrik's well-being. You're absolutely right to give them an ultimatum. Your son's safety must come first, no matter what. It's important to stay strong and assertive in protecting Henrik from any potential harm. Trusting your instincts and taking decisive action are key in this situation. It's heartbreaking to see family relationships deteriorate to this extent, especially when the safety and well-being of a child are at stake. Your parents' actions were not only disrespectful but also dangerous, disregarding both your wishes and the law. Their attempt to manipulate and intimidate you with threats is completely unacceptable. It's clear they're not considering what's best for Henrik, but rather their own desires and agendas. Your decision to involve law enforcement was necessary to ensure Henrik's safety and hold Ragnar accountable for his actions. It's commendable that you took swift action to protect your son, even in the face of opposition from your own parents. Ingrid's support and intervention were crucial in safely removing Henrik from the situation. It's reassuring to know that he's now in capable hands. Your parents' continued attempts to harass and threaten you through texts only highlight their disregard for the seriousness of the situation. It's important to document their messages as evidence of their behavior. Stay strong and focused on providing a safe and loving environment for Henrik. Your determination to protect him from harm is admirable, and you have the law on your side. Don't hesitate to seek further legal assistance if necessary to ensure Henrik's safety and well-being. It's heartwarming to hear how you've prioritized Henrik's safety and well-being throughout this challenging ordeal. Your determination to protect him from harm, even in the face of opposition from your parents and Ragnar, is truly commendable. It's understandable that Henrik felt scared and confused when Ragnar tried to manipulate him with lies about you abandoning him. Your reassurance and unwavering promise to always be there for him must have been a huge relief for him. Seeking therapy for both yourself and Henrik shows your commitment to healing and moving forward from the trauma you've endured. It's admirable that you're taking proactive steps to address the emotional impact of the situation and ensure Henrik receives the support he needs. The legal actions you've taken against Ragnar and your parents demonstrate your strength and determination to hold them accountable for their actions. It's satisfying to hear that the evidence you provided was instrumental in securing charges against Ragnar and dismissing your parents' lawsuit for grandparent rights. Moving to a different state and cutting off contact with your parents was a bold but necessary step to create a safe and stable environment for you and Henrik. It's fantastic that you've found success in your career and are thriving in your new surroundings. Ingrid's support and decision to distance herself from your parents speak volumes about her loyalty and commitment to your well-being. It's reassuring to have her by your side as you navigate this new chapter in your lives. Overall, it's clear that you're prioritizing Henrik's happiness and safety above all else. Your resilience and determination to create a brighter future for both of you are truly inspiring. Keep moving forward with confidence, knowing that you've taken the necessary steps to protect yourself and your son from further harm. Your decision to seek therapy for both yourself and Henrik reflects a commitment to healing and personal growth. Therapy provides a safe space to process the trauma you've endured and develop coping strategies for moving forward. Through therapy, you and Henrik can learn to navigate the emotional challenges you face and build resilience in the face of adversity. As you settle into your new life in a different state, you have the opportunity to create a fresh start for yourself and Henrik. The promotion at work and the higher position you've taken reflect your dedication and hard work. Your professional success not only provides financial stability but also boosts your confidence and sense of accomplishment. The distance from your parents and the decision to cut off contact may have been difficult, but it's a crucial step in prioritizing your well-being and protecting Henrik from further harm. Creating healthy boundaries is essential for maintaining your mental and emotional health. Surrounding yourself with supportive individuals like Ingrid, who share your values and offer unwavering support, 
reinforces your sense of belonging and connection. As you continue to navigate this new chapter in your life, remember to celebrate the progress you've made and the strength you've shown in overcoming adversity. Every step you take toward building a brighter future for yourself and Henrik is a testament to your resilience and determination. Keep moving forward with confidence, knowing that you have the power to create the life you deserve. Despite the difficulties in your relationship with Ragnar, it's essential to prioritize Henrik's well-being and foster a healthy co-parenting dynamic. Establishing clear boundaries and effective communication channels with Ragnar can help minimize conflict and create a more stable environment for Henrik. Your commitment to seeking legal measures to terminate Ragnar's parental rights demonstrates your dedication to protecting Henrik from any further harm. While it may be a challenging process, it's crucial for ensuring Henrik's safety and providing him with the opportunity to thrive in a nurturing and supportive environment. As you continue to advocate for Henrik's best interests, consider exploring alternative co-parenting arrangements that prioritize Henrik's needs and minimize exposure to potential conflict. Mediation or family counseling sessions can help facilitate constructive conversations and develop a co-parenting plan that works for everyone involved. Additionally, continue to prioritize Henrik's emotional well-being by encouraging open and honest communication about his feelings and experiences. Validate his emotions and provide him with the reassurance and support he needs to navigate the complexities of his relationship with Ragnar. Your resilience and determination to create a better future for Henrik are truly inspiring. By prioritizing his safety, happiness, and emotional growth, you're laying the foundation for a brighter tomorrow filled with love, stability, and opportunity. Keep advocating for Henrik and yourself, knowing that you're making a profound difference in both of your lives. As Henrik continues to process his experiences and emotions surrounding the tumultuous events involving Ragnar and your parents, it's important to provide him with ongoing support and guidance. Encourage him to express his feelings openly and reassure him that his emotions are valid and understood. By fostering a safe space for Henrik to share his thoughts and concerns, you're helping him develop healthy coping mechanisms and resilience in the face of adversity. Consider enrolling Henrik in additional therapeutic activities or support groups tailored to children who have experienced trauma. These resources can provide him with additional tools and strategies for managing stress and navigating challenging emotions. Engaging in activities such as art therapy, play therapy, or group counseling sessions can also help Henrik connect with peers who have similar experiences, fostering a sense of camaraderie and understanding. As Henrik adjusts to his new surroundings and routines in a different state, continue to prioritize stability and consistency in his daily life. Establishing predictable routines, such as regular mealtimes, bedtime rituals, and leisure activities, can provide Henrik with a sense of security and structure. Additionally, maintain open lines of communication with Henrik's school and teachers to ensure they're aware of any challenges he may be facing and can provide appropriate support and accommodations as needed. While navigating the complexities of co-parenting with Ragnar and managing your relationship with your parents, remember to practice self-care and prioritize your own mental and emotional well-being. By prioritizing self-care activities such as exercise, mindfulness, and spending quality time with loved ones, you'll be better equipped to support Henrik and handle the challenges that arise. Ultimately, by continuing to prioritize Henrik's emotional health and well-being, you're laying the foundation for a resilient and thriving future. Your unwavering dedication to Henrik's happiness and stability is truly admirable, and your efforts will undoubtedly make a profound and lasting impact on his life. Certainly, let's explore how you're building a supportive network of resources and relationships to ensure Henrik's continued growth and well-being. In addition to individual therapy, consider exploring family therapy sessions as a way to strengthen your bond with Henrik and address any lingering concerns or challenges stemming from the past. 
Family therapy can provide a safe and constructive environment for you and Henrik to communicate openly, enhance your relationship, and develop effective strategies for navigating future obstacles together. As Henrik continues to adjust to his new environment and routines, look for opportunities to foster his interests and passions. Encourage him to explore extracurricular activities, hobbies, or sports that spark his curiosity and creativity. By nurturing Henrik's talents and interests, you're helping him develop a sense of identity and confidence in his abilities. Consider connecting with local support groups or community organizations for single parents and families who have experienced similar challenges. These groups can provide invaluable resources, guidance, and camaraderie as you navigate the complexities of parenting and healing from past trauma. Building connections with other families who understand and empathize with your experiences can offer a sense of belonging and solidarity, reinforcing the importance of community and support in your journey. As Henrik's advocate and protector, continue to stay informed about his rights and legal protections, particularly regarding custody arrangements and parental rights. Educate yourself about relevant laws and regulations in your state to ensure that Henrik's best interests are always prioritized and upheld. Finally, celebrate the progress and milestones you and Henrik achieve together, no matter how small. Acknowledge his resilience, strength, and growth as he continues to navigate life's challenges and triumphs. By celebrating Henrik's successes and reinforcing his positive attributes, you're instilling a sense of pride and confidence that will serve him well throughout his journey. Overall, by cultivating a supportive network of resources, nurturing Henrik's interests and passions, and celebrating his achievements, you're creating a nurturing and empowering environment for him to thrive in. Your unwavering commitment to Henrik's happiness and well-being is truly inspiring, and your efforts will continue to shape his future in meaningful and profound ways, of course. Let's explore how you're fostering resilience and growth in both yourself and Henrik as you navigate the challenges and triumphs of your journey together. As you and Henrik continue to heal from past traumas and build a brighter future, embrace opportunities for personal growth and self-discovery. Take time to reflect on your own strengths, values, and aspirations, and identify areas where you can further cultivate resilience and well-being. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment, whether it's pursuing a new hobby, immersing yourself in nature, or connecting with loved ones. Encourage Henrik to explore his own interests, talents, and passions, and support him in pursuing his dreams with confidence and determination. By fostering a growth mindset and resilience in Henrik, you're equipping him with the tools and resilience needed to navigate life's ups and downs with courage and grace. Continue to prioritize open and honest communication with Henrik, fostering a strong and trusting relationship built on mutual respect and understanding. Create opportunities for meaningful conversations where Henrik feels safe to express his thoughts, feelings, and concerns without fear of judgment or criticism. By nurturing a supportive and affirming environment at home, you're laying the foundation for healthy communication and emotional intimacy in your relationship with Henrik. Seek out opportunities for learning and growth together as a family, whether it's through shared experiences, cultural exploration, or educational pursuits. Embrace each new challenge and adventure as an opportunity to strengthen your bond and deepen your connection with Henrik. As you continue to navigate the complexities of co-parenting with Ragnar and manage your relationship with your parents, draw strength from the love and resilience that unites you and Henrik as a family. Lean on your support network of friends, mentors, and professionals who can offer guidance, encouragement, and practical assistance along the way. Celebrate your progress and accomplishments, no matter how small, and acknowledge the resilience and courage you've both demonstrated in overcoming adversity. By embracing each new day with optimism and determination, you're shaping a future filled with hope, possibility, and endless potential for growth and fulfillment. In conclusion, as you and Henrik journey forward together, continue to embrace opportunities for growth, foster resilience and well-being, 
and celebrate the love and connection that binds you as a family. With each step you take, you're paving the way for a future filled with joy, purpose, and endless possibilities.